everybody, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to our pelvic health video series. Today is the last video in our series and we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions about pelvic health physical therapy. The answer to that question is no. Um, symptoms due to pelvic floor dysfunction are common as we age, but just because they're common does not mean that they are normal. So no, you should not just accept it. You should reach out to a pelvic PT. The answer to that is no. Pelvic floor therapy can be for both men and women in all different stages of their lives. Um, there's also pelvic floor therapists who specialize in treating pediatric patients as well. So it's okay if you have to go through a couple pelvic PTs to find the one that fits you and that's right for treating your symptoms because not all pelvic therapists are trained in the same thing. The answer is it depends. It depends on your symptoms and your condition. Sometimes it only takes a couple of visits um, with a pelvic PT to find what works best for you and to help improve your symptoms. Other times you may be seeing a pelvic PT for months, depending on what you're presenting with. No, it is not normal to have urinary leakage when you do any kind of high pressure activities or when you're sneezing or coughing or laughing. Just because this is common does not mean that it is normal. Yes, on your first visit, you should expect that your pelvic floor therapist will give you a few exercises to start working on your own at home outside of coming to therapy. Whether these exercises are bladder diaries, changes in your toileting habits or your bowel and bladder habits or exercises, you should expect to have to work on your own outside of therapy in addition to coming to pelvic PT one or two times a week. Very likely, research does support pelvic floor physical therapy as a conservative treatment for many symptoms that are caused by pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, you will definitely see better results if you work on your own outside with your exercises that you're given and the techniques that you learn as well as coming to pelvic PT versus only relying on seeing a pelvic floor therapist in the clinic. Yes, not only your eating or exercise habits, but also your bowel and bladder habits, your toileting techniques, and your water intake or lack thereof could all be contributing to the symptoms from pelvic floor dysfunction. In short, no. Performing Kegel exercises alone will not fix your pelvic floor dysfunction, especially if your pelvic floor muscles are too tight or they're not coordinated and they're not working well with your diaphragm and your abdominal muscles and your back muscles. Performing Kegels when you're not supposed to could make things worse. Your pelvic floor therapy should be a global treatment, so not only just focusing on strengthening your pelvic floor muscles, but making sure that they're flexible and that the endurance is improved and that they're working well with the rest of your core. PCES is a pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist certification. PCES can be a certification that physical therapists obtain to help pregnant and postpartum women maintain their exercise routine or return to exercise after pregnancy safely and regularly. Um, seeing a therapist with PCES certification may be beneficial if you are pregnant or postpartum um, and if you don't necessarily have a lot of pelvic floor dysfunction going on. Not all pelvic floor therapists have a PCES certification and not all therapists who have a PCES certification also treat the pelvic floor or are considered pelvic floor therapists, so it's just important for both therapists to know when to refer to one another. Thank you all so much for tuning in to our pelvic health video series. I hope that you learned something. If you are interested in receiving pelvic floor physical therapy or think that it might be right for you, please visit our website or give us a call to schedule a consultation or an initial examination to see how pelvic floor therapy can help you.